everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new tutorial every week to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm showing how to make a lined drawstring bag with a circular bottom. This is a really great project for anyone who is wanting to learn how to sew curved or circular seams. And there is an accompanying PDF for this tutorial where I go into how to figure out all the measurements and everything so you can customize this bag to suit any size that you want. And that PDF is located over on WhitneySews.com in the shop tab and of course it is available already on Patreon for all of my patrons in the second tier and up. If you want to know more about my Patreon and how you can help support future Whitney Sews tutorials, that link is in the video description as well. For the bag you will need two bottoms, two bodies, and four casing pieces. Lay the outer body piece right sides up, then fold in half and sew along the side with a quarter inch seam allowance. After sewing, I like to press this seam open. Onto the lining, fold it in half like the previous piece, then sew the side leaving a few inches open in the center for turning the bag through later. Backstitch at the beginning and ending of each seam. Now for the casings. If you're wondering, we are sewing the easy straight seams first before we move on to the curved bits. Place the casing pieces right sides together in sets of two. Sew along all the short sides. Flip to the right sides and press. You can top stitch along the short sides as well if you want. By the way, I apologize for how my hands and nails look from this point on. I went out and picked almost two gallons of berries from our mulberry tree since filming the first part of the video, and my hands and nails are stained from all of the berry juice now. Fold each set in half and press again to keep the fold in place. Now for the circle bottoms. This is my outer circle with fusible foam for structure. With right sides together, start clipping the bag bottom and bag body together. It's easiest to start at the seam in the body, then find the opposite side of the body piece and opposite side of the circle. Clip there and once again in between so the bag is divided into quarters. Take it to the sewing machine and carefully sew around the circle with a quarter inch seam allowance. You want to sew slowly and adjust often to keep the fabric edges lined up as much as possible. Some people recommend cutting small snips in the body fabric before sewing so it will ease around the curve easier, but when the seam allowance is only a quarter inch, I don't like doing that. Repeat with the two lining pieces. I did want to point out that my lining circle wasn't cut super accurately, so it was a little too large for the body piece. So I let the circle edge poke out a little farther than the body while I was sewing and trimmed off the excess afterwards. If you have the opposite problem and the body piece is too big, let it hang out a little further than the circle piece. Just try to ease things in and keep the curves as smooth as possible even if you do need to make these small size adjustments as you sew. Before turning everything right sides out, take the time to cut small snips all the way around the lining and outer circles. This helps the seam at the bottom of the bag to lay a little smoother later. Grab the casing pieces from earlier and clip them to the bag outer so all the raw edges are lined up at the top. I like to have the bag seam at the side, but you can definitely put it in the back if you prefer. Turn the lining piece right sides out. Put the lining inside the outer so the right sides are together. Make sure the seams match up. I use the same clips holding the casing pieces in place to reclip the outer casing and lining pieces all together. Mm -hmm. 
Sew all the way around the top edge. Pull the lining out and locate the opening that was left in the side earlier. Reach into the opening and turn the entire thing right sides out. Go slowly while doing this. Then tuck in the edges of the opening and sew a top stitch to close it up. Push the lining down into the bag and smooth the bottom out so it's nicely situated. Pick a half inch or 5 8 inch ribbon and feed it into one side of the casing and all the way around until it comes out where it started. Trim off the excess, sear the ends and tie it in a knot. Then repeat inserting the ribbon in the casing opening on the other side of the bag. I absolutely love this bag and now I need to figure out what I want to keep in it. So you should leave me a comment letting me know what you think I should use this bag for. And I actually have several other drawstring bag tutorials already here on my channel and you can check all of them out in a playlist that is linked right over here to the side. I think you will enjoy them. And until next time, happy sewing.